opportunity in comedy night news. Going on day four of the second impeachment trial of President Donald Trump, we witnessed testimony from both sides of the aisle while President Trump sat in a bunker in his Mar-a-Lago residence. When asked how he feels about going down in history as one of the only presidents to ever be impeached twice, Mr. Trump simply stated, millions of impeachments, impeachments, for me. Millions of impeachments, impeachments, for me. Millions and millions, millions and millions, millions and millions. millions, and millions. <laughs> impeachments come from the camp. Impeachments are put there, but... <laughs> in President Biden's first day in office, he laid off hundreds of thousands of Keystone Pipeline workers across the Midwest. But it's okay, someone else has volunteered to lay pipes elsewhere. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and an attorney in the impeachment of Donald Trump asked when exactly Trump knew about the Capitol breaching plan and what actions he took to prevent such a breaching. Trump defiantly responded, I knew about the plan pretty much when I rolled off your mom in the Motel 6 and went to take a piss. <laughs> the majority of membership across America, gyms, has been halted for almost a year now due to COVID-19 pandemic. And it's really starting to show the unhealthy effects even in communities such as Deer Lodge, Montana. Ooh. <laughs> A magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck off the coast of eastern Japan, close to Fukushima, late Saturday evening. Our lovely Jim Cameron, co-host of the Comedy Night News here, immediately booked a flight to Japan to help the infected and distressed. But upon arriving, he didn't stay long because he misunderstood the Japanese when they told him the earthquake happened in Fukushima. You see, Cameron here thought they had said, fuck a sheep, but he got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> NASCAR's first era American female driver, Tony Bredinger, will make her driving debut in a couple of weeks at the Daytona International Speedway. I, for one, am very happy for her. But with all of the redneck Confederates that love NASCAR out there, I really hope that she looks out for her own safety and does not number her car 911. <laughs> the final five-time champion of Jeopardy, while Alex Trebek was still the host, died unexpectedly last week at only the age 24, according to a statement from his mother, which makes me ask the question, what did he have on the Clintons? <laughs> Senators laughed during the impeachment defense arguments after former President Trump's lawyer, Michael Van Der Veen, mispronounced Philadelphia during Trump's second impeachment. <laughs> Van Der Veen called it Philadelphia. <laughs> and the senators just laughed and laughed, and we the people just watched our tax dollars being flushed down the shitter right in front of our eyes. <laughs> Robinhood, a popular trading app, is in hot water for banning investors from buying GameStop during part of last month's Reddit-driven market mayhem. And now Fidelity is being accused of preventing one investor from selling some Reddit darlings, a move he says cost him $830,000. It seems as if Fidelity was unfaithful to their clients. <laughs> Perhaps the investment platform should change its name to Infidelity. <laughs> Look at that man's eyes. He has definitely been cheated on and abused. <laughs> and Tom Brady, MVP, MVP of Super Bowl 55, had a little uh, post-Super Bowl fun, apparently a little too much tequila. NFL legend was seen at a post-Super Bowl bash slurring his words, stumbling, and at one point even picked up a young girl that was, wasn't even his daughter and sniffed her like Joe Biden. <laughs> you don't like it? There's the door. Um, <laughs> yeah, just joking, Tom. I love you, man. <laughs> In a 
young girl at just nine years old has inspired legislation in Congress that could help thousands of Americans pay for hearing aid devices by mandating insurance companies to cover them. When the news was told to those that the legislation would actually help, they simply responded, What? Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> An exclusive pair of Nike basketball sneakers designed in honor of former President Barack Obama <laughs> were sold from luxury auctioneer Sotheby's ahead of their anticipated sale Friday. On the bottom of the sole was inscribed, Made in China. <laughs> I am confused. Are they talking about the shoes or former President Obama? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> On the local news, the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Butte has been canceled yet again for the second straight year due to fears around COVID-19. I just can't believe it. St. Patrick must be rolling over in his potato sack. <laughs> <laughs> and Governor of Montana, Greg Gianforte, has lifted the statewide mask mandate that has been in place since July of last year. Many of you residents express, express fear over the mandate to remove their mask, stating, oh, now we'll never get laid. <laughs> and the Butte Safeway is now offering limited appointments for certain groups to receive the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, according to the Silver Bow's uh, public's, public relations specialist. I say, whoa, Safeway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Shouldn't you first offer a salmonella vaccine for all that bloody-ass chicken you serve out of the deli? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's like you. <laughs> all right, and now please welcome our special guests on the news tonight. It's the 6 o'clock news at 7. The poetic duo, Marta and Mindy Colbertson. <laughs> is very well trained and he doesn't even look at a female if one walks by <laughs> anyways this is for you honey roses are great violets oh stop it if you cheat on me I'll snip you like Lorraine above it. <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my turn. This goes out to my boyfriend, Kyle, who I just met last week. And Kyle's an eighth grader. <laughs> We've already talked face to face twice. I'm only in seventh grade, but I'm really mature for my age. <laughs> anyway, here's to you, Kyle. <clears throat> Roses are red. I'm a virgin. <laughs> If Kyle wants any action, he better, better start jerking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, one more. <laughs> this one goes out to my ex-husband, Gary. What? Oh, yeah, he's going to get it. Here we go. Roses are red. Violets are blue. If you were a better husband, Gary, we wouldn't have gotten a divorce. And I wouldn't have pushed so hard to take 75% of your equity and the vote. <laughs> Why couldn't you just have been better to me? <laughs> now I'm sick with Todd. And, well, he's just not you, Gary. Why didn't you just... <laughs> <laughs> Mine's more 
G-rated. <laughs> Whatever, Mindy. Just say it. Okay. <laughs> Roses are red. Kyle goes full throttle. If, is it normal to bend me over my parents' basement couch during a harmless game of spin the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Mark and Mindy Gobertson, the poetic duo. Oh, wow. Now, finally, to Deer Lodge news. Deer Lodge, like many Montana cities, has been has seen record low temperatures the past few days, from zero degrees to lower. These are record low numbers, kind of like the Warden's football scores last year. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Facts. Oh. And although Governor Gianforti has lifted the mask mandate, many Montana counties have not followed in suit, and that includes Powell County. Yes, the local health officials say that we all need to continue wearing masks. But I can't blame her for reveling in this new founded power. This is honestly the most attention she's ever received since her high school yearbook listed her as the most likely to drown her children in bathtubs. <laughs> That's the news, folks. Good night. <laughs> I think I'm going to ask Cynthia out after school. Okay. Think that's a good idea? I don't care. We're sophomores in high school. Just do it. <laughs> What's that racket back there? Mr. Uh, Nunez! Uh, uh, Phil was just saying how... how he was excited for the dance on Saturday night. Well, I will not have you interrupting the addition and subtraction 101 college course. Now please focus, fellas. So I'm yes, sorry. Sir, yes, sorry. Sir. I myself am looking forward to the dance. I've asked Henrietta to go with me. You know that fox from my freshman civics course? Aren't you like 55, man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, class, the equation on the board, 2 plus 2, does indeed equal 4. Now. So, so what do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask her out, and thanks for making me look like a jack-off. 
I'm sorry, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> You're forgiven. All right. Okay. Hey, don't you think it's a little weird that we pay $20,000 tuition to take a math 101 course? <laughs> no, no, I really suck at math. I thought the answer to that problem was pi r squared. But <laughs> pies are round. Cakes are squared. Did your mom drink heavily while you were in the womb, Phil? I don't think so. Why? <laughs> so, Cynthia, you, uh, you want to go to the prom with me on Saturday? Sorry, Cynthia. I, I think I'm losing my mind. What, Phil? Your halitosis smells in your face again? Here, let's ask this guy. Excuse me, sir. Is this jackass losing his mind? I'm sorry. He probably has some rum Put your little hand in mine. 
cocktail. I'm pretty losing my mind. Okay. Hey, don't you think it's a little funny that we I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> Master Joe, where in the French tickler do you think you're going? something hilarious? Sormington has the hurt! Be sure
Miller? Yes, yes. You've been denied unemployment benefits. Seriously? But what am I supposed to do for money? Your McDonald's is hiring if your IQ isn't high enough.
adversary. I'm about to make one of these ladies the luckiest ladies in the world. Why? They get to spend the rest of their lives with me. <laughs> Disneyland or something. What? You know, an Obi Wan Kenobi. What? No! I'm an OBGYN. I look like the JJs for a living. Oh. Lesbian! Next, please. What? <laughs> Just like the next thing you're going to say. That's very rude. It, well, you see, the thing is, I get paid to come on here as a big stud to make women like you miserable. People watch to get this. They get a thrill out of it. Really? I bet you think you're some kind of big shot or something. Oh, you see, the thing is, I'm a big dick. The bigger the dick, the higher the rating. The higher the ratings, the more I get paid. The more I get paid, the more I get laid. The only big dick around here is right there. I'm leaving. It's true I've got a small wiener. Not a big deal. The higher the ratings go, the more I get paid. The more I get paid. Gloria, even though you have great knockers, I could never allow an Obi-Wan into my family. My next decision is final. Now, 
you are so kind, so loving. And soon, the aroma of pig shit off of you, who woos me? <laughs> but I choose me. No one is as amazing as me. None of you can match my libido, so I choose me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 